Today I'd like to tie for you a bead head, pheasant tail, flashback nymph. The hook I have in the vise is a general purpose wet fly nymph hook. It is a size 8 and I have a 3 millimeter bead on it. The thread I'm going to use is black 6 aught. And I'm going to attach the thread and take it back to the bend of the hook. This particular fly will be good to use on trout <clears throat> in, uh, in the winter time because of the all of the flash. They seem to go for those uh, catches their eye with the flash a lot of times. And the bead will take it down to the bottom where it should be. And I would fish these in uh, right in back of a fast pocket in pocket water or in back of a fast uh, ripple where it gets a little bit deeper. And fishing it in the traditional way of casting upstream with the nymph is probably the best way to do it. Okay, for the tail I'm going to take uh, I have pheasant tail center fibers and these are short ones and I only want to use the tail and then I'm going to use another clump for the body. And I'm going to tie them in and I want them to be no more than half but when you do that you don't have to try to hold them down to that size. Put a couple of loose wraps in there and pull them to the size you want. Okay, that's about good. And I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail. And I'm going to wrap this all in. And now, uh, while I'm at the front, I'm going to take a piece of uh, Chinese braid diamond braid if you will. This is olive and I'm going to attach it right at the front and this is just going to give me a little bit more bulk on the body. I'm going to run that all the way down to the back. Right down to the tail and make sure that tail stays in place. I'm going to pick, take a piece of fine copper wire and I'm going to tie this in. I'm going to tie this in on my side. There we go. And tie that down. And now for the body, I'm going to take this. This is a ring neck center tail feather and I'm going to take about half a dozen of them and I'm going to tie them in by the tip with that very tip I'm going to remove that you can see the color and the tip is slightly different of a color so plus they have a better chance of breaking with that very fine tips I'm going to tie them in and I'm going to wrap them forward and I'm going to bring the thread back to one-third position and I'm going to take my hackle pliers and put them on that pheasant tail and you want to give them just a quarter of a turn Oop, let me straighten them better maybe a quarter to a half a turn just to keep them from separating as you're winding them and if they separate you can do it as you're going up the just give that little bit of a turn there and continue winding and they're starting to separate once more on me just extending my Hackle ply my hackle pliers a little bit further and that's going to be it when I reach the when I reach the thread I'm going to tie it off and 
and I'm going to remove the excess. Use your finger to push the thread away. And remove that excess. And give it a couple wraps to hold the end down. There we go. Now I'm going to take that Chinese braid and I'm going to fold it right over the top. I'm going to hold it with my finger just right on top and give that a couple of good wraps right there to hold it in place. Now I'm going to take that fine copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap it and you'll be able to see this fine copper wire on top of the olive braid and be careful when you're wrapping the wire that you don't pull the braid towards you and I'm going to remove that wire And I'm going to tie this down all the way up to the bead just to help give it that thicker body. Make that thorax a little bit heavier. And I'm going to remove this. And I have this a piece that's about an inch long and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to tie that in because I want two sections because the wing case is always bigger on the nymphs. I'm going to tie that down once again and bring that back to the abdomen. There we go. Now I'm going to take my peacock hurl. I'm going to tie that right in there. and bring the thread up to the bead once again. And I'm going to wrap the peacock curl. And I have like four pieces of peacock curl right here. Bring that right up to the bead and secure that maybe three wraps. You don't want to put too many wraps up at the bead because you tend to have a bulk of thread there when you're finished. Okay now for the legs I have a pheasant body feather. I'm going to tie that in. I have it split already. I'm going to hold that right on top. I'm going to pull the fibers to both sides and I'm going to give that a couple of wraps to hold it in. And you want to keep it on, in the middle. And I'm going to remove that stem. And now I'm going to take the flash. I'm going to hold that, fold that right down the center. And I'm going to tie that in. The wraps, pull those tight. And I'm going to remove the excess. And now I'm going to pull the thread and try to get that, those wraps to go down along the bead. And now I'm going to take the whip finisher
Tug that tight. Trim that off. And yeah, now I'm going to take my head cement and I'm just going to put some right. It's okay if we get it on the bead itself. And here we have a bead head, pheasant tail, flashback nymph. Use this in your trout streams in the wintertime, and even in the summertime. I think it'll work much better in the winter. But I hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.